There will come a time when you wake up and find yourself lacking the desire to worship the Lord. On such days you might feel distant from God, burdened by sadness, or overwhelmed by worldly concerns. There might be mornings when picking up your Bible feels like a daunting task, and there might even be occasions when prayer seems like an effort beyond reach. Sometimes, the inclination to stay in bed and avoid serving the Lord altogether may prevail. These moments may occur sporadically or recur frequently. In the face of such days, what should we do? There are moments in every believer's journey when the fervor of praise might wane, when the heart feels heavy or weary, and lifting one's voice in praise might seem like a challenge. In these times, it's crucial to remember that faith isn't just about feelings. It's about a commitment to God that goes beyond emotions. When you're struggling to praise the Lord, Remember the words of Psalm 34, 1, which says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. This verse reminds us that praising God is not contingent upon our emotions or circumstances. It's a decision we make, regardless of how we feel. Additionally, turning to prayer can help uplift the spirit and renew our strength. Philippians 4, 6-7 encourages us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Through prayer, we can express our struggles and doubts to God, knowing that He hears us and cares for us deeply. Furthermore, Meditating on God's promises can provide comfort and encouragement during times of spiritual dryness. Isaiah 40, 31 reminds us, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Trusting in God's faithfulness and leaning on His strength can help us persevere through seasons of spiritual drought. Ultimately, even when we don't feel like praising the Lord, we can choose to trust in His goodness and faithfulness. As Romans 12, 12 encourages us, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. By remaining steadfast in prayer, holding on to hope, and trusting in God's promises, we can find the strength to praise Him, even in the midst of our struggles. Feeling distant from God doesn't make us bad Christians. It's a natural part of our journey of faith. Despite our feelings of separation, God's love for us remains steadfast and unwavering. In Romans 8:38 and 39, it says, For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This verse assures us that nothing can separate us from God's love, not even our own doubts or feelings of distance. However, it's important to understand that God's love doesn't give us a free pass to sin just because we're not in the mood to worship Him. In Romans 6, 1-2, it states, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? This passage reminds us that, while God's grace is abundant, it doesn't justify living a life contrary to His teachings. We are to still be obedient to the Lord and not make poor choices when we get in this kind of mood. Instead of using our feelings as an excuse to neglect our relationship with God, we should use them as a reminder to draw closer to Him. In James 4, 8, it says, Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Even when we feel distant, we can actively seek God through prayer, reading the Bible, and fellowship with other believers. By intentionally pursuing God, we can experience His presence and renew our commitment to Him, regardless of how we feel. Feeling distant from God doesn't diminish His love for us, 
but it also doesn't excuse us from living according to his will. Instead of allowing our emotions to dictate our actions, let's lean on God's grace and actively pursue a deeper relationship with him, trusting that he will draw near to us as we draw near to him. On those tough days when we don't feel like drawing close to God, it might seem like we're just having a bad day, but there's more to it. It could be the devil trying to throw us off track. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 5, 8, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. This verse reminds us that the devil is always looking for ways to trip us up and keep us away from God. When we're feeling lazy or unmotivated to spend time with God, it could be the devil whispering lies in our ears, trying to convince us that it's not important. But in Ephesians 6.12, it says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This verse reminds us that our battle is not just against what we can see, but also against unseen spiritual forces that are working against us. So, on those days when we feel like we don't want to draw near to God, let's remember that it might be a spiritual attack. Instead of giving in to laziness or apathy, let's fight back with prayer, scripture, and the support of our fellow believers. Let's put on the full armor of God, as it says in Ephesians 6, 13 to 18, and stand firm against the devil's schemes. By staying vigilant and relying on God's strength, we can overcome these attacks and continue walking closely with Him. Know this, even on the toughest days, God's love for you remains constant and unwavering. He loves you just as much now as He ever has. So, when you're feeling low, don't hesitate to reach for your Bible and kneel in prayer. Praise Him, for He is deserving of all our worship. Remember, God is in control, reigning supreme forever, regardless of whether we feel close to Him in those moments or not. We can always call upon Him, and He will meet us right where we are. In those times when our trials seem overwhelming, God is there to uplift us. His power and wisdom surpass anything the world can throw our way. As it's written in the Bible, His ways are higher than ours. So, instead of trying to craft our own perfect story, let's surrender the pen to the author of our lives and allow Him to continue writing. After all, His plans for us are far greater than anything we could imagine. Heavenly Father, in moments when we feel distant from you, remind us of your unchanging love. Help us to understand that your affection for us never wavers, even when our faith feels weak. Thank you for the assurance that you are always with us, ready to meet us wherever we are. Lord, on those days when we struggle to draw near to you, give us the strength to pick up your word and seek your presence in prayer. Let our hearts overflow with praise, recognizing your worthiness and sovereignty over all things. When we face trials that seem insurmountable, uplift us with your strength and wisdom. Teach us to trust in your plans, knowing that your ways are higher than ours. Guide us to surrender control to you, the author of our lives, confident that your story for us is perfect in every way. May your grace sustain us through every challenge and may your love continually draw us closer to you, our faithful and loving Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end. My prayer is that the content has brought you closer to the Lord and enriched your spirit. If you found encouragement or blessings in this video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.